Hi guys, Sherry here from the Flex Giving Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a Divine Masculine reading for June the 17th until the 27th. So I just wanted to let you know that I'm not going to be doing any readings between July the 8th to around the 20th. Um, my oldest son is getting married, so I will be um, quite busy during that time. Alright, so I'm using the John Holland deck for the main energy and my cards for confirmation. So I've already shuffled them pretty good, so I'm just going to give them a little shuffle here. All right, so I'm going to do a split divine partnership reading, and I'm probably just going to pull one clarifier per position, just to speed things up a little bit. All right, so divine masculine. Uh, just from doing the readings, I can I understand that you guys are going for, through a uh, you know, difficult time. Uh, with your twins, so hopefully this will give you some answers. All right, so beginning with the masculine, um, well, obviously beginning with the masculine, but how do you view the relationship? Seven of Swords. So in the Twin Flame reading, there this card came up twice. So this could either mean that you are perhaps questioning the the um, connection that you have with your twin, um, wondering if it's real or not. Um, but there's also an energy of looking over your shoulder, like perhaps there's somebody in your environment that, um, you know, is just giving a lot of negative energy. So one card for that, six of swords. Okay. So, um, this is moving on from that negative energy. It's, uh, making a decision to move to a calmer state of mind. Um, so it's actually doing that. So this could be a disconnect from the feminine energy or, like I said, some, from somebody in the environment. Um, what are you resisting moving forward? So this is a, um, this is a chariot. So it's a water card which represents emotions. So it's going after the thing that makes you emotionally happy, fulfilled, uh, but it's taking control of your life, taking those reins and directing yourself um, towards that thing that makes you happy. Page of Wands. Uh, so this could represent great communication, great news, um, and it also has to do with a brand new beginning in life. So it's following your sole purpose, um, starting from zero. And it has to do with spirituality. So it's an aha moment. It is um, clear insight, inspiration, a creative drive. So there's a, a lot of emotional and spiritual energy that seems to be suppressed right now. Message from the universe, or sorry, from your higher self, high priest. So your higher self is telling you to... Um, Concentrate on your spirituality, on your soul growth, um, you know, gaining wisdom and knowledge. Uh, the High Priest is also the Divine Masculine in a spiritual form, showing his connection uh, to the Divine Feminine. Um, so let's see what else comes up with that. Queen of Pentacles. Um, so either this is an Earth sign or this represents the Divine Feminine um, in her 3D form. Um, the Queen of Pentacles also represents independence. Um, you know, this is a woman who can look after herself, uh, who doesn't need to depend on anybody, who enjoys luxury, um, but doesn't place a great deal of importance on it. She just loves to be surrounded by beautiful things, make her home beautiful, and she's a very um, nurturing mother as well. So the two cards together um, what I'm feeling is a desire to be with the feminine in the 3D, uh, in the higher self, um, is telling you to concentrate more on your spirituality rather than worrying about the divine feminine and reuniting with her. There's a lot of, um, again, scattered energies back and forth. Do I trust? Should I go forward? No, I can't go forward. Um... You know, just a lot of confusion, scattered energies like it was in the, the Twin Flame reading. Past position, 
for, firm foundation, four of pentacles. So this could be an energy of being closed off or holding on too tightly to something. Whoa. Um, the devil card. So this is a chain, uh, something holding you down in the 3D world. So it could be a codependent relationship, an addiction, or self-limiting beliefs. It's the ego. Okay, so it's coming in the past position. So there's a sense that maybe you release this energy um, and that's why you're being closed off or, <clears throat> sorry, um, or, or some, you need to release yourself from something in the future. Okay, present position, four of wands, how beautiful. So uh, this is a twin flame connection. Um, this is the twins coming together in the 3D to share their life, but also their spiritual calling. Uh, so, you know, it's a present position, so there's a lot of love um, being expressed here and a desire to be with your love. Crown Chakra. So this is enlightenment this is I know what I want I know I want this twin flame connection I know I want to um, live this happy life uh, so this is the crown chakra activation it's um, the highest level of you know the highest chakra um, this is your direct connection to source so there is this deep innate knowing of this connection but like I said, you're resisting moving forward with it. Okay, future position, Six of Swords again, same card, moving on. Uh, so again, I was feeling, you know, there's this non-trusting energy and the, you know, confirmation card was the Six of Swords. So it's him moving on from this negative thought pattern. And that, so that's what he will be doing. He'll be moving on. Now notice he's moving from the dark to the light. So it's to a calmer state of mind. Ten of Wands. So uh, this is being caught in the machine. It's exhaustion. It's um, taking on too many burdens, responsibilities, uh, burning the candle at both ends. So the ten represents completion of that. So definite ending to this burden, to this... Um, these thoughts, this negative energy, finally deciding to move on away from that. And when you do that, then it'll allow that twin flame connection to come in. Uh, message from higher self. Nice. Ace of Wands. So, you know, it's a very similar energy to the Page of Wands. The Page holds the Ace of Wands uh, in her or his hands as he you know steps into this new adventure into this new life so like i said starting from zero brand new life and it has to do with your spirituality so this is that spark that aha and um so the universe is telling you to take that wand take that ins inspirational idea and move forward with it so this is a brand new beginning it represents passion ignited temperance this is my ultimate union card for Twin Flames. Um, so this is the twins coming back together. It's the souls winding back together. Uh, there's a Kundalini awakening here. Um, so it's that fire, that passion. Um, and the temperance is that fiery passion of the two twins, like I said, winding together, uh, reuniting to be one. Uh, this card also represents um, patience, balance in all areas of your life, spirituality, um, the 3D world, mental, physical, okay, because definitely a lot of scattered energies here. So Spirit is asking you to find your balance, um, be in the now, um, and uh, look to the future. And, you know, there's this new beginning coming into your life. So... What I feel here is, you know, Spirit is telling you to, to be balanced, be prepared for this new beginning. Your external environment, yes, the Two of Swords, not surprised to see this at all. So that's what's causing this mental conflict. On the one hand, you don't know if you can trust and 
you want to walk away from a negative situation and on the other side we have this you know desire to move forward with this new beginning um, and it feels good it feels right it makes you happy but you're scared to take that step so most definitely mental conflict for sure being pulled in two different directions uh, so this is having two choices both have far-reaching consequences uh, both are um, you know life-changing um, decisions and so because they have far-reaching consequences there's a sense that you can't move you can't make that decision it's too important so it's easier just to stay in the same spot hangman so this is surrendering to making that decision spirit is asking you to let go of control surrender and see things from a different perspective um, so yeah it's a shift in and focus shift in your mind um, and instead of trying to make that decision to just surrender to it because spirit is you know has your back everything's gonna work out just fine so surrender look after yourself okay what did you fear strength card power so you you fear stepping into that that you know um, this has to do with using your pure will in order to direct you forward or move you forward in the external environment. Um, whereas the strength card is uh, using your internal will to tame the beast within. So it's similar energies, but one is ex you know directed towards the external world, while this is directed towards the internal world. So this is using your love, kindness, and compassion in order to deal with this situation. So quite obviously that situation has to do with the devil, the six of swords, and the uh, two of swords, which you will be moving on uh, from. But right now, you feel that you don't have the courage or the power or the strength in order to do that. Two of cups. Beautiful. So you desire this twin flame connection. The two of cups is spiritual union. It's recognizing your twin flame, which you definitely do recognize. Um, she awakens your kundalini. You know, you, you desire that union on some level. You desire to move forward with it. And she awakens your spiritual um, power as well. So, you know, there, like I said in other readings, that this card is... You know, in order for this card to show up, the heart chakra must be activated. It is the motor that drives spirituality or consciousness. So <clears throat> there's this heart chakra activation, which opens the third eye, crown chakra. And then there's this beautiful exchange of energy that flows between the twin flames. It's effortless. It's mutual. It's, um, you know, a deep love for one another. So he's trying to find... Uh, or you are trying to find that power, that strength, in order to move forward with this union. So there's definite beginnings, new beginnings, and a desire to be with your, your twin flame. Um, however, that can't happen until you've released whatever fears, whatever um, anxiety or stress that you have. Something is coming to completion, no doubt about it, in the future so that this new beginning can come in. So stay positive um, and detach. Break the link, the chain that's keeping you bound to something. Okay, so I'm gonna look at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy, five of cups. Not surprised to see this. So you're afraid of making that decision. You're afraid of moving forward. Um, because you don't want your heart broken five of cups is um deep mourning deep loss so in the twin flame reading um in the present position you had the three of swords as well as the nine of swords it, in the osho zen the nine of swords is sorrow so right now you or will be right now you are feeling this and will be uh feeling a lot of sadness and um grief and 
pain over a loss that um, it feels like it's consuming you right now. And uh, so you're, you're holding yourself back from fully expressing yourself and feeling that love. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card from Miss and Mermaids for a message from the universe. Stranded. So, number 38. I'll show you the card real quickly here. All right, so stranded. For the solitary seafarer, the time has come to weep, longing, empty, yearning for her dreams, dreamt dark and deep. Forlornly lamenting, she aches to close the gap she keeps, remembering a loved one as she's drifting off to sleep, slipping into nothing, an oaken gnarled embrace, lit lit listlessly awaiting the sun's illustrious face, alone on the island, swiftly shrinking space, she is stranded alone, afraid in disgrace. Alone and stuck in a gnarled tree on a de deserted island, a melancholy mermaid stares into the distance, oblivious to the sunset rising behind her. She is pale and lost in a reverie. She is isolated and lonely, but why? Stop isolating yourself, guys. You may feel deserted, but it is self-imposed isolation. What you see as rejection in all is all in your mind others are not avoiding you you are avoiding them preemptively preventing them from rejecting you and that's exactly it right you're you're coming up with these ideas these thoughts that you know that is causing you to to block your heart you're definitely isolating yourself for sure you desire this connection, but you're resisting moving forward with it. It is not healthy to avoid relationships and interactions for fear of losing loved ones or, <clears throat> sorry, of becoming embarrassed. It is time to step off the island you have created for yourself and join the rest of society. Make contact with a friend you have been avoiding. Go back to the classes. Go back to the classes and meetings you have bowed out of and wisely invest in new modes of communication so you can talk once again with the world. The world is waiting for you. It is up to you to take the first step. It is up to you to take that first step. Okay, so um, yeah, you are isolating yourself. It's self-imposed. Um, you deserve to be loved not deserve, everyone deserves to be loved, but you need to believe that, <clears throat> you need to believe that, um, that you can have that love, that you can have that, that future, that, um, real true love in your life, that new beginning, okay, so, um, get out of your, your head, surrender, and just allow destiny to to play out. Okay. Stop blocking your heart. All right. I hope this helped, guys. Much love.